Let's put it. Just going at any opportunity because oh like I said, I have an image of where I want to be. If it's not making me happy, I don't want to do it. Period. Contrast is so good. <laughs> What's up you guys? It's your girl Chichi back again with another video. Today I am in my feelings as usual most of the time <laughs> but um, I decided to just get some food and talk to you guys. So today we're having snow crab legs from Captain's Ball. You guys, I like to eat. I love food. Ooh, look at that. So I got one pound of snow crab legs from Captain's Foil and I got two corns in it and I'm not just going to eat and talk honestly okay so before I start talking about anything I'm going to eat first of all please let me have strength let my brain actually have strength you know to to say something sensible to you guys today but I just feel like there's a lot on my that I need to get out so I'm going to start with a leg how have you guys been i never really like interact with you guys but i try but you guys don't understand me so mm. but how have you guys been i've been good and not good <laughs> on and off you guys i think okay first of all if you're libra comment down below and let me know if you're a libra First things first. What was I even going to say that had to do with Libra? For God's sake. Okay, yeah. No. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I said this, but yeah, I already said it. It's Captain's Boil. Um, the sauce, what did I get? Captain's Boil sauce. I think they have like mm -hmm. something called Captain's Boil sauce in mild because my stomach has been Sorry, I just had to I had to get that quickly. My stomach has been acting a fool and it just doesn't like spicy things anymore. So, I have to go mild. But I like Captain's Boil. Captain's Boil. What is that thing called? Captain. Yeah, it's Captain's Boil. Okay. I like their mild because it's not like bland and just empty. Mm -mm. Oh, God just, just posted. I let my little brother date my girlfriend. <laughs> For 24 hours. I've never seen Will's little brother, so that'll be interesting. You guys, do you guys like eating seafood? Let me know. Comment down below. Because it's just amazing how, like, if you check out Seafood Boil on YouTube, you see. How many people are so interested in it and like it literally never gets old because everybody's reaction to it is different i don't know but i love i love watching seafood boils especially from tay and lou i love to them together mm. There's a little too much salt today because usually it doesn't slap like it doesn't like affect my tongue but I don't know it just feels weird on my tongue today <laughs> I'm still gonna eat it though I went out to get paper to wall. Oh, I got it. It's just on the floor. Mm. 
I don't know, I can't really eat. Like, if you if you have me on Snapchat, you see that I eat a lot. But lately, my appetite has just been zero, like, non-existent. I eat, but I get full so fast. I guess it's because of the madness going on in my stomach. That's I'm drinking water today. I'm just like, please, let my whole body just, just reset. Oh, another person I like watching, um, Kim. It's with Kim. It's with Kim. Kim Tai. Yeah, Kim. She's just so real. I love her. I love her channel. She's very, not real, but like, she's relatable. Like, when I watch her video, I watch it from beginning to end. And the funny thing is that she doesn't say much. She just eats. <laughs> You guys, see, I don't eat seafood all the time, so I was not about to go and, excuse me, buy a, I was going to go and buy a cracker just for this video, sorry. So I'm going to do it the rugged way and get it out. What? You see? That's called improvisation. <laughs> Mm. That's good. Let's move on to the corn. Something different. Corn just is so good. <laughs> I think I like the corn because the sweetness kind of like neutralizes my tongue so all the saltiness I'm tasting the sweetness will just balance it out so yeah what I wanted to talk to you guys about I just feel very I don't know I don't say stock but I'll say stock Okay, let me explain. You know, when you're in school, I don't know about you, but let me just say from my own view. When you're in school and when I was in school, I really had like this whole timeline for my life, you know. Like, okay, yeah, by the time I'm done, I'll have this, I'll have that. Oh boy. The pepper is... Is, as it's on my face, it's burning in one sec. Okay, yeah. So, where was I? So, I always have this timeline that in the next XYZ months, I would do XYZ, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Okay, good. We're ready to graduate. Well, Apparently, as it turns out, <laughs> that wasn't God's plan. That wasn't his plan at all. Because I finished school in November and I'm a very C. I'm a very like. This video is very risky because only God knows who can come across it, but at the end of the day, I don't like to lie. So, I'm a very. I won't say picky, but picky. Like, if it's not making me happy, I don't want to do it, period. And that has cost me a lot. That's cost me a lot. So, when I was done, literally I've had like how many jobs? I'm even, you know what, I'm just going to be real with you guys. I've had like five since I finished school. 
five since November, I think. And the reason why I've had so much is because I just keep like jumping, you know, just going at any opportunity because, oh, like I said, I have an image of where I want to be. But then once I get there, I'm just not like you can see it. And everybody says, oh, your job, you can't be 100% happy. That's fine. That's good. I'm fine. That's okay. I understand. But it needs to be, you know, a little bit, a little bit like, okay, yeah, it's just eight hours of my day. I can do it. I can get through with it, in my opinion. But if I'm already dreading the day from the moment I wake up, then I'm, I don't like that kind of job. And you can't say that, oh, I don't have good work ethics because when I was in uni, I was working for my whole four years in uni I was working so I don't know and in case you're asking oh then what exactly are you interested in all these social media related things like I just want to help because I feel like over the years, I have self-taught myself a lot of things. I just want to be able to like teach it to other people. Or, if I'm not able to teach it to them, then let me put my knowledge to good use. Let me work somewhere that I can be monitoring their analytics, reading it for them, telling them what XYZ means, helping them with you know facebook ads marketing and things like that and i keep getting interviews for jobs like that but i think they just see me and think oh this this small girl like does she really know what she's saying because i'm very tiny like <laughs> if you see me i'm so small like does she really had the experience no one ever actually just gives you a task and says, okay, we'll use this to judge, judge your knowledge, you know, go and do this. Because do people actually go to school for social media? That's why I even want to know. Because like I'm thinking, how do you judge that someone is good at content creating and things like that? There's no... Is there? Well, I guess you can take like editing classes and things like that. But I don't know, I just feel like it can very well be self-taught, so there should be different metrics involved when judging. Hmm. No, this one come out perfect. Oh! <laughs> So yeah, um, regardless of all I have to think and my opinion and things like that, the job industry is the job industry. So I just have to do what I have to, like, I have to do what I can do on my end for myself. And uh, I'm still not going to settle for something I don't like. I, I'm really not going to settle for something I don't like, but I would search wider. You know, consider other things. I really just want to be a baby girl, like, do you understand? I just want to enjoy life, but girl, before you can enjoy life, you have gas work for it. And I know that. I think I just need to drop my expectations of what I thought would be and accept what is. Hmm. Uh uh. Oh shit. Wisdom. <laughs> And that being said, while I'm going through whatever I'm going through right now, I just thank God because 
at the end of the day everything is a lesson like honestly everything is really a lesson and personally i know that at this point that i am right now i'm just a product of god's grace i don't want to overshare on the internet i'll leave it at that uh -huh. oh my god <sighs> gotta be strong for this you guys see i'm still on one half lb oh my god <laughs> ah. no patience for this bro i'm about to injure myself on top crab i really came to vancouver to eat crab <laughs> I'm trying to do it in such a way that it will come out whole. Like, I don't want to squish it. You guys, sorry. Ignore my ratchet nails. I'm going on vacation next week. So, I'm waiting to do it. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. Wow. Moment of silence. While we bite into this, mm. yo, I'm telling you, if you close your eyes and eat and like concentrate on what's in your mouth, like you just. Mm. You guys, I love food like that, so deal with it. <sighs> Yo, food is food is life. <clears throat> I want my other corn, but I'm honestly tired. And my camera is overheating, so yeah, I think it's time time to end the video i can't i can't eat the other three legs like i just can't mm. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching um give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it hold on give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button on this side of the screen to join my family and comment down below like let me know if anything i said was relatable i feel like i stopped like halfway in what i was saying no i, I feel like i ended at a decent point um just let's talk in the comment section how's life going for you Regardless of whatever is going on now, just know that you're going to look back and call it story. <laughs> Basically, like you're just going to look back and laugh about it. But make sure you learn your lesson. As you're laughing, make sure you've learned your lesson and you're, you know, adjusting things accordingly. Okay.